So in this video we will be seeing another technique called DLL hollowing. This technique is similar to the process hollowing. So we have our uh, process and we have our remote process. In this we are going to inject the DLL first. So this is our DLL. In the process hardening technique, we have uh, replaced the process image with our malicious process image. But now we are going to place the shell code at the address of entry point of this DLL. So we, as usual, we have the uh, headers, dash header, NT header, and uh, uh, section headers. So at the address of entry point, we are going to place our shell code. So address of entry point will be in the text section. So at that place, we are going to place our shell code here. So SSC shell code and we are going to create the thread at this shell code. So let's recap once more. We will inject the DLL and we will get the base address of this DLL and we will calculate the address of entry point and we will replace the content at that address of entry point with our shell code and then we will create the thread at that address of entry point. So I have already written the code. I'm going to show you. So this is the shell code which pops up the calculator I have generated using MSF Venom. And the DLL path is calculator 64 dot DLL. This is the uh, malicious DLL we are going to uh, inject. And we are going to read the uh, total buffer and then we are passing the buffer into the get address of entry point. So this is another function. It will pass the PE headers and retrieves the address of entry point. And we are going to open the process. And then we are using the get all module 64 function. So this is uh, also the function I wrote which uses create to help that is snapshot and retrieves all the modules and their base addresses. So we are just using create to help that to snapshot function to retrieve all the modules and I am at I am appending to the hash map and returning that hash map. And we are enumerating through all the through all the uh, modules of the process if it matches kernel that it are error so uh, let me uh, comment out this one I think I changed some uh, values here So now we are good to go. Now we will get the actual address of entry point correctly from this uh, DLL. And we got the remote base address. And from here onwards, we are going to add the address of entry point. So we will get the actual uh, target address where we want to write our shell code. We are changing the memory protections at the target address to read, write, execute and we are writing the shell code and we are creating the thread. Uh, before that, there are some values we need to change that is the process ID. So let's open a text notepad.
so 5220 now build the binary copy this and paste it in our vm now simply we are going to run this one and we should see the calculator popped up and we can see calculator got popped up so this is the dealer halloween technique we have injected the dealer so uh, we have injected the kenneth atira dealer and then we are reading the get address of uh, entry point from this dealer data dealer content you can also read the address of entry point from the process uh kernel 32 base address so here we have remote base address from this point onwards you can go and read all the headers and calculate the address of entry point so for that we'll be using the read process memory uh function call so we can read directly the file content without actually using the read process memory function so after getting at the 70 point and we are looping through the modules and if it's connected kind of to a dealer this is the dealer we are we injected and then we are retrieving the base address and the base address press address of entry point uh, gives us the actual uh, address at which we are going to write our shell code so we are changing memory protections and writing the shell code then after that we are creating the thread at that target address so that's all for this video dealer halloween technique which is also similar to the process halloween technique